I was 28 years old when I decided to get tested for the BRCA gene. My mother, her mother, and three of my maternal aunts were all diagnosed and died of breast cancer. The results came back that I was BRCA positive, which carries the risk for ovarian and breast cancer. And I said, okay, well, you know, what are my options? And they said, for the gene, we recommend a double mastectomy. When I was getting ready to have my mastectomy, there wasn't a whole lot of thought to will I completely lose sensation, but that's what ended up happening. I lost all sensation in my chest. Tara never had breast cancer. She underwent prophylactic mastectomies and reconstruction with implants. People do not realize that when a woman undergoes a mastectomy, the breasts afterward, even if you're reconstructed, can be numb and usually are numb. And the reason for that is the mastectomy removes all the tissue, including the nerves. If the breasts are left numb, I think it's, it's really odd for the patient to feel like they have a part of their body that they just don't feel connected to because they can touch it, someone can brush against it, and they don't even know anything is happening to it. I don't know if I clearly envisioned a future with the implants because I knew that that was sort of a finite decision. I knew that the implants don't last for your entire life. So Tara was 28 years old when she had her mastectomies. About 10 years later, her left breast became hard and painful. Which might have been one of the more terrifying moments of this whole thing because I don't know what that meant as far as could this kill me. She came to see me and we got an MRI and we discovered she had a left breast implant rupture. She suggested immediate removal of the implants and an autologous flap reconstruction surgery. You need to have a flap in order to neurotize the breast. You can only restore sensation to natural tissue. You cannot innervate plastic. You take the skin and the fat from one part of somebody's body and then transfer that tissue to the chest wall identified an artery and a vein and a nerve, which I then secured to a nerve connector. I used an oxygen nerve graft to reconnect the two nerves from her flap and her chest wall to restore sensation to her new breasts. Nerves grow at a millimeter a day, so it's not like the next day you have suddenly full sensation, but you can regain sensation over time. Initially, it kind of felt a little bit like slight warmth. And then the more I kind of paid attention to it, the more I felt like, oh, I, you know, I kind of pinched myself and that had no, I mean, it hadn't happened in 10 years. I actually remember feeling gratitude for feeling pain again, because that was when I knew that I absolutely could feel again. I almost think that that rupturing, as, as scary as that was, I almost am grateful because I might still have my implants in and I might still kind of be walking around with an invisible shell around myself. M maybe not engaging in the world as much as I would if I just had more natural breasts. I like to restore sensation to somebody's breasts because frankly, I put myself in the woman's shoes and if it were me, that's what I would want. It may take an extra 15 minutes to reconnect the nerve, but that's sensation that a person will have for the rest of her life. It's been just over a year now since that surgery and I can jump in, you know, into the pool as hard as I want to or play with my dog. I take for granted how normal I feel now and, and how little I have to worry. I'm very happy with, with the, the outcome of the surgeries and can look forward and feel like it's gonna be okay.